It's your favorite comedian, Elon Rich, and I got a story for you. With everything going on in the world, it's easy to think that we are going backwards as far as progress. But there's one country out there right now that I know of that is trying to do better. Saudi Arabia, the dollar menu of the Middle East, saying that you don't got that many choices there. They are now easing their restrictions on women being able to drive finally allowing what is half of their population to get fast and furious. They even took to Twitter because that is how we communicate with our world leaders. The Saudi foreign ministry took to Twitter saying that there is a committee in place that is gonna help with the ruling. This is big because the kingdom of Saudi Arabia is under a Wababi Islam rule. Probably pronounced that wrong. Basically bans the mixing of sexes in public events and numerous other oppressive things on women. These restrictions are enforced by the religious police. They're kind of like the fashion police, but they're like freeze for Jesus. Whose powers that the new crown prince has actually been negating in order to help. Here in America, we just call the religious police the Westboro Baptist Church. While there's never been a written law that says that women can't drive, it has been highly highly looked down upon in the religious group. Here are some of the common reasons why people would say that women cannot drive in the country and I can't make this shit up. Driving a car involves uncovering your face. Driving a car may lead to women being out of their house more often. Driving a car may lead women to interaction with non-manam, marem, non-marem males. If you're wondering what a Marem male is, it's basically a husband, father, son, uncle, granddad, basically some form of family member that is a male. For example, in traffic accidents, because we are basically now assuming that they're gonna get into a crash. Women driving cars may lead to a overcrowding in the streets, and many young men will be deprived of their opportunity to drive. Have you ever been to New York? It's okay, you'll be fine. It's just called traffic. Driving would be the first step of the erosion of traditional values, such as gender segregation. Because that never goes wrong. Segregation, everything could use a little bit more segregation. Making some soup, what you need? A little bit of segregation. Separate the meat from the beans. It is the latest in a series of changes brought about by their new prince, 32-year-old Prince Mohammed bin Salman. He has a very ambitious plan to reform and transform the Saudi Arabia economy by 2030. That plan includes an increase in women in the workforce. As of last week, for the first time, women were allowed in a sports stadium for a pageant. Here's a small little background on Mohammed bin Salman. Ben Salman was appointed by his father this past June to the position of crown prince. He is now seen as a major power in the country and is soon going to be put in place as king. In May, his father actually decreed that the government give a list of actual things that women can do without asking permission from their husband or fathers or other male guardians, basically maharem, maharem. He also ordered that organizations have some form of transportation for female employees. Believe it or not, before May, women weren't allowed to use public government services without asking for permission from their maharan, maharan. He's like, babe, I am going to the store. He's like, what? Babe, can I go to the store? That's good wife, you good wife. In May, I'm gonna butcher this name. Prince Basil bin Abdullah, a former education minister, told a privately owned TV channel that he had no doubt that women would one day be able to drive in this country. He said, let me tell you about my leadership's point of view. Never mind driving a car, which is coming. No doubt I want her to be able to drive society. I'm gonna keep following up on this story. I hope you do. Let me know how you feel in the comments section. Do you feel like this for some reason is something that shouldn't happen? Do you think they're moving on too fast? Do you think that, that they're not ready for to allow women to be able to drive or do you feel obviously that this is a step in the right direction let me know what you think in the comment section make sure you like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and most importantly i hope your allergies are better than mine because i'm having allergies for like the first time in my life and it sucks 
I'm dying over here. Now look at you just walking in here looking all pretty and angry and mean and good. <laughs> I know you didn't get your head down so you can just sit down and just sit still. Hey, we trying to have a good sound tonight. Let's go, baby. Let's go.